Oh, okay. So we're back in the house. Nice. Yeah. Finally. It's eleven eleven. Make I a have wish. To tell Amanda. The mask of Amanda. I have news for you. We smashed and it did lots of good things for me. Wife. You better be my new one anyway. Damn girl, smack. Alrighty, what's up? Amanda, I finally know what the mask is. The one you saw in the Chamber of Trinity? In the nature of universes, Doreen calls it the mask of Ugra Ekna. It grants its holder the ability to activate any of the omniscience mechanisms. So this is the key Lavabrak was talking about at Zuthra's gate. Victor, that's great news. It all makes sense now. Only the one who created these truths can hold the key. The cast of the Omniscience created Zuthrar, and you are the avatar of its member, Ugra Akna. That's why the gate responded when you touched it. And that's why you saw this mask in a vision. It's yours. It will allow you to open Zuthrar. In the nature of universes, I found a symbol next to the mask's description. I'm sure that we passed a gateway with this mark on our way to Zuthrar. I remember that gateway. I've never been able to open it. But you have unique abilities. And I have my faith in them. Let's go together! I'm worried that the book is incomplete. Much of the content concerning the Omniscience technology is missing. And it might have contained some crucial clues. It's an old book that's been passed through many hands. Who knows who might have taken something out of it along the way. Whatever was once there, we can rediscover that knowledge, just like Doreen Austerlitz did. Let's go. I have matters to attend to in the mansion. In our small family, not everything is as it should be. What do you mean? A woman must protect her secrets. Fine, but I'm going to need some help. There's a first aid kit in the bathroom. Also, I don't think your letter opener is going to be enough this time. I had a revolver while I was underground in the theater, but after that, I... I don't know what happened to it. Jonathan took it when you lost consciousness. Check the trunk under the stairs. Thanks. First aid kit in the bathroom, revolver under the stairs, and after, you'll open a portal for me, right? Yes. Let the light of Lavabrark guide you. Well, at least she's willing to help open up a portal, so that's nice. Prepare Jonathan myself! Minute. I was supposed to meet Mabel in the attic. <sighs> Yo! I'll smash Mabel. First, might want to grab a first aid kit. You don't know what the fuck she's gonna do to me. And you damn right I'd be leaving doors open because I don't give a fuck. Oh, fuck me. We're gonna go to that room with all the fucking shit. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hi, Mabel. Hi. Is it safe to talk now? I think so. Tell me, do you trust Amanda? Well, she seems chill enough. Uh. I mean, uh. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I believe she wants the best for us. She's only trying to understand Lustga better. We need to answer Lavabrak. He's calling us more loudly than he ever has before. If we don't respond, more and more people will suffer as a result. Despite whatever it is you think of her, you must know what's happened before. I want to tell you about the night Amanda first appeared at the mansion a year and a half ago. Okay. What happened? It was absolute terror. During the solstice ritual, we were attacked by a, a being unlike anything we'd ever witnessed before. We all fell into a deep sleep. And when we woke, Amanda was already with us. She became a powerful member and assumed control overnight. Her newly founded power was born out of fear. We all felt it. Everyone but Donald, that is. He still remains too stupid to be afraid of her. Then... Then Christopher went missing. And now Bobby. I'm afraid something terrible is happening again. Christopher was a seeing one too? Yes. At Sabinian's order, I was seducing him. I've grown to really like him, but I didn't have the opportunity to tell him that. 
Listen, maybe I should just talk to Amanda about all of this. No, you can't. I'm afraid you'll end up like them. You're talking about Bobby like he's dead. Not even a day has passed. Are you implying that I'm overreacting? I'm just saying that you could be wrong. Maybe you're looking for meaning behind why Christopher left. <sighs> Do you think about Lily often? Uh, well, I, uh, uh, Lily yeah. caused me a lot of pain, and the way she died was even worse. I try to forget it, but I can't. Christopher's disappearance also caused me a lot of pain, although I hardly knew him. Lingering on the past will get you nowhere. We have to shape the future. I recall that you once learned a lot about the future through my cards. I wish the future showed that it had a place for me. You can always try another spread. See what the cards say? It doesn't work that way. You know, let's forget about this conversation. Excuse me. Mabel. Good night, Victor. That's it? What the? The fuck you had me come all the way up here for? I thought we were gonna do some kinky shit. What the fuck? Fantastic night doing whatever it is you do without me, Mabel. Need the old pow pow. Sup, boys? Oh, Amanda's favorite guy. And he's still walking. Incredible. Oh, the favorite of everyone in the mansion. What do you mean? You'll soon find out what I mean. Like how Bobby probably found out. Mabel just asked me about him. What are you on about? Don't listen to him, Victor. Donald's exaggerating, per usual. Shut it or I'm gonna wet our pants. And you, be careful who you hang out with. I hang out with you guys, and yeah, I can see how that might be a problem. Haha, <laughs> eat a dick. Probably have, but... Ooh. Fuck yeah, boy. Later, dudes. Hello. Ready? The mask of Ugra Ekna won't find itself. Are you ready for a tender farewell? <laughs> it's either no or serious talk. There's no option of yes. What the fuck? Well, since you seem to have the time, I'd rather have a serious talk. If that's what you desire, tell me what's going on. I have a feeling that Mabel is afraid of you. Maybe it's just respect. She mentioned the night you first came to the mansion, and how Christopher went missing, just like Bobby is now. Mabel has problems, not with me, but with herself. Okay. She was in love with Christopher, and he left shortly before I joined the cult. The poor girl put these two facts together as if I had something to do with it. She can't forgive herself for not getting it off with Chris, and is now blaming the entire world for her own mistakes. Really, it's not worth talking about. She mentions something about an attack from a being, and then a deep sleep. She was probably talking about the good angels, karma, and dream catchers as well. This girl is intellectually and emotionally confused. I try to help her, but as you can see, the effort is all for nothing. Let's focus on finding the mask of Ugra Ekna. Sure, I'm on my way. Let the light of Lauverbrock guide you. So if I didn't go meet Mabel, would I have smashed? Fuck! Retrieve mask. Easy. Ooh, an infinite number of bullets? I am the Punisher. Yeah, fuck your shit, you stupid fucking tongue fuck. Alright. We'll call it a draw. I won't hesitate, bitch. Suck, fuck. 
Giving me unlimited rounds was a bad idea. He gave a gamer a gun with no implications for what he does. I love it. That looks wet. Holy shit. Oh, what the f What up, bitches? I've got a gun. You're literally jack shit. That looks wet. Oh, fuck that shit. I saw nothing. Saw, dude. Oh, nice. My dude, give me your brain. Kinda want the mental state because everything in the mother fucking makes your mental let go weird. Which like you should just be used to this shit by now. Honestly, it's been six fucking months. What have you been doing? Clearly not enough. I am not fucking that. I will put a round in your brains so fucking quickly. Haha. <laughs> Come on over here, buddy. Nothing bad's gonna happen to you, okay? Gonna take a nice walk. Come on over. Nothing to worry about. Fuck, could you move any slower? Alrighty, buddy. Hope you had a nice life. Two shots to kill that thing? Nice. Knock, and the door will be open. Ha-ha! <laughs> Shitter! <gasps> oh! 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 Ah! Fuck me! Shit! Oh! I was not expecting that second one to come out. Fucking thing. Moving on up! Okay, welcome to the part of the video where I skip it all because this next section is gonna take me 30 minutes to 45 minutes to figure it out. Hi. Oh fuck. Stay the fuck away from me. Oh, okay, they're not actually... I thought that they'd hurt me, but I guess not. Totally had the opportunity there. Come friends, come and die for the cause. Or just take two bullets and be fine. Hey, buddy. Well, now that I know that you're not harmful, I'm still gonna kill you anyway. Because I like bringing death. You're just gonna sit on your ass all fucking day. Alright. And then that'll be the last one, and then it takes me up to the top. Cool, gotta find one last ball. Sup? I have five rounds, so as long as there isn't three of you, we'll be fine. Why the fuck this shit's so dark? Holy fuck. Excuse me guys, just give me the f seven years it takes to reload this thing. Just a moment while I try to remember the controls. Aha! Nice. Cool set sweet. Follow. Come. I'll take you to a better place. This way. So I hear it cheaper as fuck. Today. See you guys in 30 minutes. <sighs> Long story short, all that was a waste of time. There was nothing interesting.
Right, well, thanks everybody. Um, your lives helped the cause. And the cause was me, so... Yeah. Fuck you. Little bitch. I'm going back to the mansion. Amanda's gonna love this. Huh, okay, well... That was nice. And in case I haven't said it yet, that's going to be the end of this video. Bye! Hi, welcome back to another episode of Lust Ga. I mean, Lust... Hi, welcome back to another episode of Lust From Beyond. Oh, it just... Oh, okay, it teleported me to the... Okay. That's fine. I'm... Could, I, why don't... Why wouldn't they just put me in the house? gonna load. I got a new limerick. It goes, Victor, Victor, what a prick. What? Damn, Shackley's. They took the mask. What the fuck is going on here? I don't like it. Sensing some sussery. Close that fucking window. All right, Amanda, what shit have you done? What the fuck? Where is everybody? I... Huh? They were having sex where we eat food. Well, finally, a body. Who the fuck are you? Symbol of our faith. Desecrated. <sighs> I don't know what the fuck that was. I didn't get a good fucking look at it. I knew it! You little shit. Fuck it. Oh, you're invincible. Great. Know that I would gun you down in a heartbeat if I saw your ass alive. Little fuck. What's going on here? They're... They're all dead. That beast. Our altar is destroyed. Our members rose against the ideas of the land of ecstasy. This is rebellion, seeing one. Bullshit. But none of this makes sense. If they stopped believing in our cause, why didn't they just quit? Looks like it wasn't enough for them. Little faith, great destruction. What's this creature doing here? Lauva Brark demanded respect. This is not the first time. And looking at how difficult it is for humanity to learn new rules, it's probably not the last either. Where's Amanda? Mm hmm. I suppose she went to Zutra with the Ugro Ekna's mask you recovered. You exceeded our expectations, seeing one. But it was the Shackley brothers who took the mask. And now they're dead. Why did Amanda go there without me? Mm hmm It is intriguing, indeed. Yet, now comes the time when all the answers lose their sense as they rest in the shadow of the lustful god. I should go there and find her. I must return to Zuthra.
Oh, Mabel, what the fuck? Mabel, Mabel, what happened here? Oh, God. How it hurts. Uh, she did it again. Who? Amanda? It, it started because of me. I persuaded the brothers to search her room. I just wanted answers. I wanted to know what happened to Christopher and Bobby. But then they found the lost pages from the nature of universes. The torn pages that you told me about. But they were here this whole time? Amanda ripped them out for a reason. Zutra, it's horrible. We can't let it be opened. What are you talking about? Amanda has to do this. And she just went there. If you hadn't turned out to be Ugro Ekma's chosen avatar, she would have sucked the energy out of you and killed you like the other seeing ones. Christopher, Bobby, and who knows how many others have shared their fate. This... this can't be true. She's not what you think. Jonathan, she guided him. His every move. He went to the theater with you to get the book. Everything that has happened has been under Amanda's orders. Mabel, it's not possible. There must be another explanation for all of this. Check the torn pages. They're in my room. And help me. Help me, please. Zuthrar heals nothing. Zuthrar is a prison. She's been lying to me. But why? Well, what the fuck, lady? Well, good luck, I guess. Well, Amanda being a piece of shit. Oh, come on. Kill first, ask questions later. Bitch, you got some explaining to do. I've been waiting for you. Yeah? So no you shit. still need me then? Still? Of course I need you. Yet, you came here alone, hoping that Ugra Ekna's mask would allow you to open the gate. But as you can see, the gate can only be opened by Ugra Ekna's avatar. You need me until the end. Who needs who here is irrelevant. We must turn Lavabrock's desperate scream into a song of delight again. We have to heal Lustga. I've read the pages that you ripped out of the nature of universes. You can take off that mask of lies. I kept some information to myself, but I did it to help you. Your mind doesn't need to be cluttered with unnecessary doubts. Zuthrar is not the technology that will heal Lustga. Zuthrar is a fucking prison. What will really happen when the gates open? Although Lustga cannot be saved, your visions will cease just as I always promised. Lustga is dying. While this world is consumed by cancer, we can create a new land of ecstasy on Earth by releasing Lauvabrak. Think, Victor. How wonderful it would be. A world without pain. Without hate. A world as the new land of ecstasy. Eternal, imposed bliss. Who are you to make that decision for all of humanity? It's not a decision. It's the logic of how the universe works. People are individuals looking at the world through a narrow slit of understanding. Reluctant to let go of their limitations while fearing for their fragile society, which they undermine every day in every way on their own accord. For them to finally be happy, someone else has to make that decision. Now you're feeling the resistance, but when the land of ecstasy comes, all resistance will be gone. All thought will simply cease. It's a destruction of civilization! So what? It's a corrupt, flawed civilization. An error in evolution. Thanks to the grace of the lustful god, we will save anyone who would have died as a result of hatred or stupid political decisions. We will feel pure, crystallized happiness. And nothing more. Save. You've already killed on your way to this utopia. The Shackley brothers, Christopher, Bobby, 
and how many other seeing ones who didn't turn out to be Ugra Ekna's avatar. Do you think I enjoyed that part? I take no pleasure in those deaths. But I do what I must because our cause requires sacrifices. You sacrificed Lily, too. You told Jonathan to kill her, right? What are you... You sent him to the theater for the book, and conveniently, you also got rid of another problem. Jonathan went to the theater on my recommendation, but he did what he wanted. You know how he was. You're lying. You always fucking lie. I won't do what you want if I can't trust you. Victor, if you die, Lauvabrak will anoint another seeing one as an avatar. You're giving me no choice. And I have Don't the choice to I ever had a kill choice. you! I was your puppet. Everyone was. You're wrong. Oh, you could have been alive, basking in pleasure, but you've chosen death. Ah, so you will kill when me then. When this is all over, I'll give your corpse to the changed so they can fuck it until only dust remains. All right. In the eyes Bitch. of the lustful god, our fight is fratricidal. What tragedy. I'm gonna just heal myself real quick. Eve Lustga. Ha! That's it? That's all you're gonna fucking do? Eve Fuck off! Eve Lustga. <laughs> I'm just a better gamer than you are. Well, I don't know what that did. But I'm sure it did something. Well, that's better, bitch. Kneel before the priestess of lust. Fuck Embrace off. Embrace my will. And to think that the lustful gods chose such a pathetic excuse for their avatar. Wow, now that's just mean. Kneel before the priestess of lust. Embrace my will. Hi. Yeah, feeling a little weak now, huh? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> she got what she deserved. Time to get out of here. That's it. She ain't dead. Well, this just sucks some ass, doesn't it? So we meet, for the last time. Been waiting for this moment for a very long time, demon. I hope you are ready to die, like your mother before you. Well, I'm actually full on ecstasy, so. Or energy, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Over. The fuck are you? I mean, you're Amanda, but you look nothing like her. Um, and no, I did not think it was over. I am not stupid. I knew you were alive. Well, that looks like an arena. It's boss time! What the fuck is that? Ah. Fuck off, Amanda. Do you think you can defeat me so easily? Lustgar's essence blows through my womb. <laughs> Why the fuck she looks so fucking creepy? You were the lousiest fuck. Wow, that's... Why you gotta do that, man? I put a lot of passion into my kissing. Too bad Lily didn't get a second chance to make an idiot out of you. Why are you gotta be so toxic? Like, hate me, but don't be a bitch about it, you know? Like, the fuck? 
I represent progress. You represent the rotten status quo. Hey. Well, bye. Psycho. Hello. <laughs> oh. Are you done? When I finally open Zuthrar, everyone you know will crawl in eternal ecstasy. From the bum ah! to the Pope. Of all your fluids, I still yet to taste the blood. It's time to change that. That's I uh, no. You don't need to taste blood, lady. Your archaic weapon versus my essence. What a joke. Too bad Lily didn't get a second chance to make an idiot out of you. Okay. You can all fuck off. <laughs> oh, hi, you're still alive. You're you gonna can see for yourself that you can't defeat me. Do you want to fight like this endlessly? I mean, if I have to, you know, there's another way. I know what you really want. What was burning you from the inside before we even met? We can talk about gods, ideas, and lies, but you know the truth. It's all about one thing. You just want me to be your tool. I'm done being used. What does it all matter? If we open Zuthrar, all consciousness will cease to exist. I will be no better than you. You can make sense of your journey. You can be the one to end human suffering and bring eternal happiness to humanity. Do you really think there's something good waiting for you when you go back to your old life? You will feel the same pain, more visions, a longing for Lily, and a lust that cannot be satisfied. It will destroy you. My pain won't go away. I know that. But maybe that's the price I have to pay. You don't have to, Victor. Fuck me and let's open Zuthra together. Let there be delight. I mean, like, as wonderfully good looking as you are right now. Um, fuck no? You're right. What? Let's end this. That's not what I clicked! I regret it. Come on. Eternity lies ahead of us. I didn't press. What? Oh the fuck is that shit? No, I did not press that button. Let's fuck. Oh the Well, thank fuck. Another day, another order. Stay tuned for the six o'clock news on LNRM radio station. Twelve fatalities and over 100 people have been injured in the Ale Ridge bombing. The West Coast is threatened by mega tsunamis caused by global warming, says scientists at Meriton University. More race riots happening in the streets of Riverboro. 30 people were arrested. A deadly new virus mutation is growing rampant in South Asia. The <laughs> has since introduced flight restrictions. All this and more coming up shortly. Now I don't need to delete my browser history anymore. Good afternoon, ma'am. 
I'm calling to update you on your order. Thank you, dear. Tell me, though, when will you find yourself a nice girlfriend? I worry about you being alone over there. Mrs. Hudson, that's a difficult topic for me. You can't be this closed off. You must have someone to live for. You'll see. You'll find someone better than Lily. Lily's dead. Oh. Oh my, but you said it was a breakup. What happened? It was an unfortunate accident. I can't say anything else. How do you cope? Oh God. Sorry. That's stupid of me to ask. Victor, I'm so sorry. It's all right, Mrs. Hudson. You couldn't have known. If only I could help somehow. You know, after my husband's passing, I began buying things that reminded me of him. That's why I've been ordering from your shop. I didn't know that. That explains a lot. I buy what reminds me of our best moments. Traveling. Music, his hobbies. It's worth coming back to that. And in a way, it soothes the pain for a short while. A and what's your most beautiful memory? Your order is ready to be picked up. Victor, if I said something inappropriate... Goodbye. My most beautiful memory? She probably wouldn't like it. That's it. Delve into my most beautiful memory. Woohoo, let's go! Your most beautiful memory is the last time you saw Lily? Because this is what I did just before that. So I blacked out at this point. This is all new. Oh dear. Go back. What? <laughs> the beginning of the end will come, and you will have to learn to come to terms with the way things are. If you win. You will only prolong your suffering. I know what you really want. What was burning you from the inside. Do you really think escaping the past is the best solution? Death is the only solution. Burning you from the inside. Stop going to your own I into this game. It's time to see you well. Absolutely. What the fuck? Few of the last surviving members of the Scarlet Lodge found the body of Charles Arstolitz. To honor his death, they organized a funeral combined with a bloody orgy in the undergrounds of the theater. Soon after, power was seized by the most charismatic cultist among them, Stephen Hubbard. Arstolitz's plan to regain humanity by going through the Chamber of Change went forgotten. The new Scarlet Lodge proceeded to band together the biggest degenerates the world had ever known, and soon the whole country would hear their mac 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 deeds. Mabel died soon after Victor went to Zuthrar. Theodore, while waiting for Paradise to come, decided to honor her departure. He took the body and carried it out of the mansion, seeking a dignified burial location among the trees. After having buried the girl and prayed to Luvabrak, Theodore returned to the mansion. He met with Victor, who was distraught and covered in blood. The seeing one informed Theodore of Amanda's fate and left the property never to return again. Theodore was greatly saddened when he learned that Zuthra had not been opened. He succumbed to grief over the following days, lamenting the dead members of the cult and lost and his lost dreams of paradise. 
he succumbed to... Okay, so he just died of grief, okay. Holy shit. Amanda knew that if the murder of Lily returned to the mansion, Victor would... Victor could turn away from her. That was why... That was why she ordered Jonathan to live in isolation at the hotel in Bleakmore. Jonathan, left alone to his thoughts, returned to his former passion of architecture. He was finding his way back to life now that he was outside of the cult and away from Amanda's influence. When she asked him to meet her with her in secret, he was torn with his feelings, but in the end chose to stand her up. Once he left Bleakmore for good, it was only then that he felt as though he could finally breathe. However, the relief did not last long. He could not find peace because he was endlessly tormented by the echoes of what he had been through and the awareness of what the Cult of Ecstasy was planning. Jonathan returned to the mansion. He was armed and determined to do what needed to be done from the very beginning. Theodore was living alone at the Cult's headquarters and told him of Amanda's death at the hands of Victor. Jonathan became distraught when learning her fate and in a moment of despair, he shot the master of the ceremony and burned down the estate. Finally, he returned to his hometown of Pittsburgh, and there he started a new life. Okay. Holy shit. Victor's Hollow Victor Holloway's story has come to an end. Its echoes will resound until the time of pain ends. So that's, uh, I don't, uh, I mean, uh, okay, sure. I wonder if there's other endings. Well, that was less from beyond. Overall experience, it was okay. It was somewhat scary. The best part was the Scarlet Large part lodge part where all the fucked up shit was happening everything else was just kind of like like i didn't give a shit about loose god all like i could care less honest like the, the 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 creepy cool part was what humans were doing to each other i don't fucking care about monsters honestly so what happens if i click continue where does it come where does it go where 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 what happens so basically, if you don't, if, if, so I, I, you fuck the monsters and then, and then the scene plays out the same way. So yeah, um, eh, that's my, yeah, eh, I hope you, hope you enjoyed it. Eh.